Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shannon Plays. Welcome back to Tac Team Scotland, where we are showing off our, I don't know, gaming prowess. <laughs> We're so good at this game. Uh, Co-host today is Arumba. Say hi, Arumba. Have you been co-hosting with someone other than me? What yes. Yes. <laughs> been All right, I'm, are we ready to wrap this war up, you think? Uh, well, we don't have to. We can we if you were... want. Our exhaustion's at 1.0. We were waiting. Oh! What the hell? Well, there goes our king. Screw this game. I'm going home. <laughs> we actually have a decent regency. 033 is not bad. Did Okay, we have a good heir. He's three, though. Yep, 12 years of not declaring war. Who? 12 years of not having the 406. You know what's interesting is um. I was really considering taking Wessex. Taking Wessex would allow us to fabricate on Brittany. <laughs> I would love to eat Brittany. <laughs> Excuse me? What, what did you just say? You'd love to eat... Are you talking about Britney Spears? What? I'm talking about Brittany. As oh, the in, country. The uh, country. Oh. You know, the country whose capital is lawyer. Leave Brittany alone. No. Why would I leave Brittany alone? <laughs> um, yeah. All right. Um. Is that is that possible, you think? You want to do like Wessex, Oxfordshire, Norfolk instead of marches? But then it doesn't cut their land in half. It'd still leave London, their capital, isolated. Oh, uh, it's too expensive. I think you're just going to have to hold off. Hold your horses. But then we can't fabricate on Brittany. All right. Well, when we annex Munster, then we can fabricate on Brittany. All right. All right. All right. So when do you want to peace out? Do you want to wait a little bit or do you want to... I think we should wait till we're at two war exhaustion, like okay. you said. Because the yeah. longer we're sitting on their trade power and the, the longer The more money we make. Oh, yeah. And the more we hurt them. And, and there's and always a chance. Me, I like hurting them. There's always a chance of what? Can there is there there's bad stuff bad events that can happen when you're at high war exhaustion right like they could be losing stability maybe does that happen maybe I don't know I don't know right. let's just wait until we're to war exhaustion ooh Sweden's actually got a decent navy going there he's got twenty ships he we're has so, so rich. sixteen galleys nice we are rich we're 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 nouveau riche though okay. don't really know what to do with our money. Lowered maintenance. Let's buy uh, a 20 foot tall stuffed panda bear and put that in London. Do you want to try the thing where we uh, send thing. some of the navy to Lubick? Oh, there it. goes Galicia Volnia declaring independence. Look at that, Galicia Volnia. Oh, wow. England went bankrupt, by the way. I didn't get an event about that. How's that possible? <laughs> England's at negative two stability, negative 10 prestige, and he's at bankruptcy. It's good times. That is beautiful. Well, I guess we don't want war reparations anymore. Really? Does well, that really... They're, bank they're bankrupt. Yeah, but they don't have... you still get their income? I mean, as soon as they have all their land back, they'll get their income, right? They will, but would the bankruptcy modifier is uh, massive, isn't it? Oh. I don't know. I don't think I've ever gone bankrupt ever. Really? I went bankrupt like the very first time I played the game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's um, this? Free money? Take loans. I... I remember, okay, bankruptcy is a huge penalty to stability. You have no morale. Advisors are more expensive. I don't remember what else. I mean, I guess interest rates are really high. Oh, we need to royal marry France and all these people again. Whoa, that could have been bad. Okay, um. You'll have to listen to me, uh. Rage I clicking. guess we should. I guess we should. I guess we should still take their war, their money. Because then, even then, it's 10% of the money that they would need that they're not going to get. Right. And, and that we get. It, it's not only that oh we make more goodness. money. Oh my goodness. Have you seen the Hansa lately? No. Uh, he took Westphalen and Hanover. Why is he expanding inland? I don't know. Normally he takes, like, Saxe Lauenburg and Why Bremen. does he have trading posts inland? What the hell? What, where? Trading post? What? He's got trading posts inland, and they're both providing naval force limit. How? Probably because they're part of different trade nodes. They are. He can build a trade post in every every in every trade node that he owns land in. He can build so, some trade. So posts. he took one province in the Saxony node and one province in the Rhineland node just to build trading posts. That's awesome. Hey, kudos to them. That's smart. Hey, speaking of the Hansa and building trading posts, uh -huh. notice how they're a merchant republic. Uh huh. And we can adopt plutocratic administration and become a merchant republic. Can we? If if we complete economic ideas, it's all we have to do. Do you want to do that? 
you want to I mean, trade it's fun or it's working out for us we lose four stability we gain another merchant so five more force limit but we lose the Stuart dynasty okay yeah important <laughs> you're right the dynasty <laughs> I forgot <laughs> it's so important um we lose a lot of stability but basically you just go down to negative three so we I'll tell you what, we're, we're making... Did you put some ships in Lubeck? You did. I, I did, to try it. How's, it. how's it going? Is it better? Is it worse? It, it's it's not that great. We're, we're only making seven ducats a month now, and previously we were making nine ducats a month. Oh, Castile also canceled our subsidies. We're making even less now. All right, I don't the, think we're making... Now, hold money. on one second. The Pope has been sieged by Castile, and Castile did not transfer to us. Let's separate piece the Pope. What do you want to do to the Pope? I want to make Castile eat it. <laughs> and France can eat Romagna, by the way. Romagna? What's that? That's the, by... the Pope's other territory. It'll cost us Diplo points to do that, though. Do you want to? Well, the thing about, like, <laughs> okay. If we make Castile eat Ro Rome, then they'll get the occupation of Rome. Which means that Castile gets no papal influence. Okay. It's a, tr it's a triggered modifier, right? You can see it in the list. You get minus 10 papal influence, minus one diplomatic reputation. And because they're greedy little bastards, when they get the event that fires that wants them to return Rome to the papacy, they probably will say no, which will piss everyone in the world off. Every, like, Catholic will hate them. Any idea why France and Castile didn't transfer siege to us? Because we don't have adjacent occupation. Neither do they. But they're the ones that did the siege. But they're not the war leader but they don't transfer it until you have adjacent occupation. I thought the I thought the way it worked was they will transfer it unless they have adjacent occupation. No. Un until if like if we occupied Siena, they would transfer Roma to us. Okay, let's just just give Rome to the give Rome to Castile. That's fantastic. 50 I diplo mean, for for some fun and shenanigans. Do it. Do okay. it. Do it. And, okay, and we'll can take, we take his we'll take uh, Rome's money. Take his war operations. Yeah. War his, reparations won't cash. really do anything, though. And we can take both. It's 116 ducats okay. and war reparations. Come on. Done. It's sent. Do it. Freaking awesome. 98 war score. I love it. <laughs> Castile, you're the best. And they just gave it right back. <laughs> uh, Castile <laughs> broke their alliance with us. Oh, no, that's the Pope. Sorry. Castile's still happy with us, but the Pope still right. has... I'm going to get relations up with the Pope. That's so necessary. What, what... So did they do the event then, or? They must they have, yeah. It? Did they sell it to them? No, they got the event. Because you immediately get that event. It's automatic. So we just wasted 50 double points for no reason. Ah, yeah, but it was fun. Basically. It was fun. <laughs> okay, we are at uh, 1.79 war exhaustion. All right, next month, next month we'll do the, it. So yeah. the peace deal is going to be for Gwynedd, Glamorgan, Gloucestershire. Wait, Gloucestershire? Are we going to do Gloucestershire, or are we going to just do Cornwall? It was going to be um, Marches, Oxfordshire. Oxford. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We just gave Castile a bunch of aggressive expansion, and Aragon just coalitioned him. <laughs> <laughs> What's the... Wait, I want to see the coalition map mode. 34. Okay. That's yeah, not he's that got, much. He even has Austria. Yeah, he's got 34 aggressive expansion against Austria. That's awesome. 40 against Savoy. 40 Savoy against Naples. Milan. That's fantastic. You know why that's great? Because that means Austria will have less aggression towards us right because he'll, he'll have a little bit of focus on castile now that was yeah that's good totally intentional okay so we need to get a diplomat back so we can do this all piece. right he's coming back he's back all right we're paused let's talk okay. peace england so i yeah. had it down as marches oxfordshire norfolk also the cost has gone down because because autonomy is going up where it's now it's now down 57 it's, it's down a it's down to 97 peace offer instead of 100 for okay, the same but, land. But, but it's not because of the occupation. What is it? Look, look at the autonomy. You can see current estimated change is due to bankruptcy. It's going up by 0.2 in every province because of bankruptcy. But it's the autonomy that's causing it to be cheaper. Yes, but, but you had said that it, you could get autonomy from occupation. Well, it used to. All right, but you can't anymore. It's just that, okay. But it's going down. So... Theoretically, then, the longer we could afford to just sort of sit on this, the less war score we could spend. Because the autonomy is going up pretty damn quick. Well, so's our exhaustion. Do you want to keep pumping exhaustion? 
Because this is already only, costing us 165. Only if we could get an extra province that we couldn't normally get. Like, because the war exhaustion or the war score cost came down, can we do something better? Well, we can't do Wessex. I would love Wessex, but that's 102. So if we sit on it, we could probably get Wessex instead of Marches. And that would allow us to fabricate on Brittany. Yes, which would be better. But it doesn't split England as evenly as taking Oxford. Uh, it's pretty even if you consider the base tax on the provinces. True. But it's not five provinces and five provinces. How long do you think it would wait? It would take to get two war score off? Well, when did this war start? Where Let's take a look at like one years. province. Okay. If we look at Norfolk, mm -hmm. it's currently valued at 12 war score. And that is valued because of... Okay, local autonomy brings it down by 0.1. Let's give it in a couple months and just kind of watch the numbers. Okay, let's watch the numbers. I'll keep the peace deal window open, and we'll see if it changes. I think we're, what we're looking for is like, okay, we need even numbers to happen. Oh, Castile pieced out. That's fine. Province war score cost. If we add the numbers up manually, it is 11, 13, 13.9, minus 0.9. So the province war score cost for like Norfolk is like barely below 13, which is why it's 12. Right. So Norfolk's not going to go down for a long time. Oxfordshire, 19. 22, 23.1, 23.3. Yeah, to see if you can find any that are like on just the, on ready the to tick down. Yeah, because we need two war score to come down. So far, it hasn't moved. It's been two months and it hasn't moved. Well, how many months could we go with one more buying down of war exhaustion? Well, the problem is the more exhaustion we buy down and the more things we add to the peace deal, we're going to be running out of Diplo at some point. I'm going to go not, ahead and buy down exhaustion. Okay, but we're not really, we're not actually adding anything else. We're just trading one province for right. another. True. Diplo so it's still 165. You're right. By the way, we're at negative one stability again. Do we want to go back up to zero? Why are we negative one again? Because our king died. We shouldn't, we should do it now before we take on more overextension. Yep. Done. You know what would be nice is if our kings would just not die. I know. That, that also reminds me we're in the Regency Council, so after this, yeah. we have no more fun. Uh, no more fun. Are you? Do you have any reason why I shouldn't build some constables? Um, only if there are no temples available to build. We could build temples in Ireland, but it is Ireland. What's wrong with that? It's Ireland. All right, we'll build temples. Temples give naval force limit. We like well, naval force limit. The reason is autonomy, right? They're at fifth the autonomy, so they don't get as much out of it. Right, but that'll come down eventually. Yep. And uh, we could we could lower autonomy in Ulster now, but not during the war. Let's see what our let's see what our war is, not our, let's see what our vote risk is like with all that uh, overextension. Still 102 cost. Nothing's changed. I think it's just going to be really slow. That autonomy change. I can go speed 3 for a bit. What do you think the uh, I mean I wish I knew the exact math on it. From local autonomy is now at 0. 0.3. Mm -hmm. I think earlier it was at 0. 0.1. Mm -hmm. Yeah it's going it just went up by 0. 0.2 in uh, Oxfordshire. Everywhere the autonomy is at 2.8. Let's see if at 3% autonomy, we see another increase in the local autonomy modifier on war score cost. Okay. Should be probably this month it would do it. Hopefully it's a war score decrease of 2, because that's what we yeah, need. Exactly 2. Otherwise we're just wasting time and money. We're not, we're actually making money. Yeah. Uh oh, nobles ally with foreign power, lose 25 prestige or lose 33 admin points. Oh, this, these prestige hits are constant, aren't they? 
Ah, the cost did go down. It's 101 now. Okay, if it were only one war score shy, I think we just sit and wait until we can get exactly what we want. All right. Well, it's been about one year. So in one year, it went down by one cost. And it's going to cost us how many Diplo points to buy down the extra war exhaustion? It's Probably going up by a lot now. About 150 Diplo. Which means we're paying twice as much for this land because the, the peace deal's 165 Diplo. But it gives us what we want? I don't know. Is it <laughs> worth it? Is it worth it? We're, we've already we've already put our we, we've already thrown our hats in the ring. Let's let's sit right. it out. Maybe we should go back to the other series title. <laughs> <laughs> what was it called again? So, I think it's scrub. called "We're Fucking Ass Raping England." Yeah. <laughs> Scumtopia. Would be... We rename it. We just rename our country. Can we do that? We can rename. What's the provinces? name of our army right now? Our army's called Scottish Strategy. I don't know about that. Yeah, we can rename provinces. That's fun. <laughs> All right. Um, can't rename occupied provinces, though. That's sad. We have no I changed, diplomats. I changed send. air to ire. That's all. Why? Because it's like how we get to Ireland. That's our entry point. <laughs> you can't rename sea zones, though, sadly. Yeah. We need, uh, we need a diplomat. Where'd you put him? Oh, he's just keeping relations up with uh, Castile. He's coming back. Mm, I see. Oh, oh, Wessex is now only 20. Oh, there we go. That should be I enough. That, I think that should do it. It was at 21 a second ago. Yes, 100 war score. Yep. All right, are you ready? I'm going to click it. I'm going to click All right. it. All right. Do it. Do, do it. it. Do it. Do it now. Just do oh it. Oh, God. Please don't coalition us. Please don't be angry, world. I'm going to take a look at our heat map here. You can unpause it? I've got the heat map open. It's all perfectly normal. And now... Oh! That sounded bad. Yeah, it's a little, a little brown. A little brownish red looking. All right, let's see. Importantly, France is still friendly. Well, Although... An ally. Oh, my goodness. They're an ally. They didn't take any aggressive expansion. Was not... Given occupied course and claims in the peace, minus 100. Yeah. All right, they kind of wanted gonna, their English cores back. We're going to improve relations with France. <laughs> uh, we should also improve relations with Brittany. So I'm going to bring our guy from back from the Pope. And who else needs some hugs? Let's see. Norway needs a big hug. But he's he's Denmark's little baby, so I don't really care. Um, how about we start coring stuff? How's that sound? Yes, definitely. And I think we should... Rob, do you want to buy down this war exhaustion? Is it or high just, enough? It's not that it, bad. I think I it's okay just to let it sit. Let it stew for a while. At least for the moment. Okay, Oxfordshire's got 14.3%. Did you buy down or raise autonomy yes, in all of them? Yes, yes. I okay. love raising autonomy. All right. Uh, yeah, that that's that's fantastic. You know what we don't have, though? We don't have any transports, so we're not going to be able to police that land. No, whatever. It doesn't matter. Transports are silly. <laughs> what if our vassal is... Yeah, our vassal's gonna get rebels over there for sure. Is he's not smart enough to raise autonomy? No, vassals never raise autonomy. They're idiots. So we need to protect we his land. We need some transports. Yeah, we have to. More than our land, we need to protect. Well, at least in our land, we can raise the autonomy. <laughs> you know what we should have done instead of war reparations is enforced military access. Would have been nice. We'd be spending one diplo because it'd be over our limit, but that's worth it. That would have been worth it versus having to build transport. Man, France is so pissed. They're just, wow. they're just the, it's fine. And he did take aggressive expansion, by the way, just not as much. No. Yeah, 18 aggressive expansion. That's not that, no. All right, Denmark and Utrecht have coalitioned us. We should, he shouldn't be able to get pick up aggressive expansion if he's in our, if he's our ally. Did you, uh, did you accept the royal marriage offer from Utrecht? Yes, Munster? yes. Monster is nice and happy. Okay, our income is was negative last month. Can we fix that? We're actually over our naval force limit now because we lost control of the London important center of trade. Understandable, but only by two. So we're only spending 0.2 ducats because we're over the limit. Ah, Military we can also tactics. get tech seven. You ready for tech seven? 
I'm ready. Oh, here's an idea. What if we stay at Tech Six until the what? rebellion? What? Oh, and so the so the rebels will be Tech Six. And then we raise it when we need to fight them. Brilliant. I actually like that. Because there's no, I mean, we don't have any cannons unless you want to build cannons in advance. So then the question is, will you remember that in the next episode? No, probably not. But <laughs> why do we have this technology button sitting here? Oh, how stupid we are! Click. Yeah. <laughs> So the revolt risk, okay. We're not over 100%, so it's just 10% progress per, per chance. Uh, tell you what, can we lower... Oh, we already have lowered funding on our military. Let's lower it some more. And we need to build some transports, and we need to send our army down to, like, Glamorgan, because he's going to get a revolt. Right? It seems really risky, though, to park our army with low maintenance in a province we know there will be a rebellion. Hmm, true. You're not wrong. Hmm. How about bringing our ships back to the London node? I really think we're going to get more money out of that. I already did that. Really? Oh, you yeah, did? They're, okay. they're in the English Channel only. I see. They're not moving, but they're protecting trade in the English node. They're just why, sitting why out. Why are they not moving? Because they're crazy. Yeah, what What in the world? They're just hanging out. They're, that's how they protect trade. <laughs> Are they're getting, they they're giving, they're given full trade power. The wow. part of the reason we're making no money is because we're so damn overextended. Overextension, but that'll go away. That's fine. That is in fine. this in this case, it might make more sense to protect trade in our capital node because we won't have that penalty. The overextension penalty does not apply to your capital node. Mm -hmm. I think we should do that. Let's protect trade in the North Sea and see if that makes us more money. We were making four point three six. That's actually less. Okay, we'll still do it the other way then. Uh -oh. Brittany has rivals. Oh no! Oh, that sucks so much. Because they were they were teetering on the edge of deciding whether they want an alliance with us, and I was thinking we, we could have done that, but oh, I thought man. I thought you wanted to fabricate a claim on them. I do. But what's wrong with getting an alliance first? It's a little bit deceptive, don't you think? Nobody would ever do anything deceptive in a video game. No, of course not. All right, I'm going to get relations great. up with these guys who dislike us. Thankfully, Austria stayed at plus, plus 14. Oh, oh um, what? since we're at peace what? and we're dealing with overextension, do you want to switch to the better relations over time guy? Indeed. Oh, good idea. I'll do that. He's old, but we'll take it. It doesn't matter. Well, it sort we'll of matters. It. It's it David Fairplay. Play fair. <laughs> Does he play fair? Do Obviously. we know this? So now, looking at the coalition map mode... Also, uh, it's been enough time that we can switch our focus if you want. We finished Already? that idea group. Yep. Wow. We finished that okay. idea group, so we could focus something else. What do you think would be a good second idea group for us? Um, usually, I'll do either an administrative or a military uh -huh. for second. And... It just kind of depends. Our next guy, our, our actual, our next character is a six military guy. So we could probably do military idea group and stay up to date on military tech. Probably. Oh, there goes Polotsk. Oh my god, that's a big Polotsk. Look at Lithuania and, oh my god, look at Twer. Holy crap, Twer. Twer? What? Twer got all the provinces that had Russian culture from Lithuania. Okay. Poland still has rebels. Oh, and Bohemia. Are you kidding me? Bohemia got Podlacy from Lithuania. What? They do this weird thing where they don't defect to the right country anymore. It's a Polish province. It borders Poland, and it goes to Bohemia. Is Do you know, is there a way to see westernization progress? Can we see if they're still trying to westernize? Oh, Poland? He's definitely trying to westernize. How do you know? Because he has rebels everywhere? Doesn't it show you? Let's see. If we check his revolt risk, does that show you there? You'd have to have military vision. Oh, we don't have vision. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, that it would definitely show you there. Maybe we can see in the ledger somewhere. Is that possible? Like maybe his know. income is affected by it? Well, our revolts are pretty unlikely. 64 years and 8.2 years, but it's going to come down a lot. Well, keep an eye on Glamorgan and shit like that. That's going to revolt. <laughs> Look at his revolt risk there. It's nuts. He's not even trying to core it. No, he doesn't care. 
AI either doesn't have any points or he just doesn't think it's going to happen. Well, since this isn't Iron Man, I think what we'll do is we'll tag switch to Munster between episodes and we can force him to core. I'm sure he has points sitting around. Oh, maybe I think not. We should... He's in a Regency Council with a 1, 2, 3. Ugh. You would... Uh, I, I feel like the AI should raise autonomy. Yeah, he should. Like, like you should just say, okay, hey, you you, you can't you have no no army, no transports. Maybe you should raise it on me and not have to deal with a rebellion. But they are not smart enough to do that. It's the AI. But you're right. It's not Iron Man mode, so we could do these things. Well, I, I don't think raising the autonomy makes. Oh, he is coring Gwynedd. There you go. So he is actually coring stuff. He probably just didn't have enough points because his his leader sucks. He's gonna have such a hard time with that land. Well, we're gonna have to police it when the rebels spawn. We gotta be quick. We gotta be on the ball. In fact, um, did, did you need... build a transport? No, we should. Let's build some transports. Okay. My goodness. You know what we can do? We'll just build three transports. We'll transport our dudes down to like Norfolk, and then we can just walk over, right? Right? Yeah. That, or we just move the navy, move the army to Ire. And then move them straight to Gwynedd. Straight through the Irish Sea. Yeah, that works. There's barely any revolt right, risk in Northumberland. I think we have to call it. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. The war with England is finally over. There will be more wars with England, but the first one is done. We'll see you next time. See you soon. Bye-bye.